Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to work with the Daisy Delight stamp set and the Daisy Punch. This is the card that I designed. I also used the striped embossing folder and kind and I turned it around to the deboss side so that I kind of got um, somewhat of a little farmhouse look there. But I really love this thank you card. Very simple card to put together. Back in a minute and we'll do it together. I just wanted to show you that this lovely set is displayed between um, page 126 and 127 of our annual catalog and I just love this. So springy. Okay, you can save 10% right here if you bundle. There's even the number. Of course, I'll have all the numbers of everything at stampinginthevalley.com. Please go over to my website and I will have all of that listed for you. Now, um, uh, what I've done is we're starting with a Whisper White, Thick Whisper White card base at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, so it opens like that. I've taken my Emerald Envy and I ran it through my Big Shot with the striped embossing folder. And you get a deboss side where the indentions are down and then you get an emboss side where the indentions are popped up. I want to use this side because I'm looking for a little bit of a farmhouse look. Thinking of spring and working outside and I, maybe some of you garden. Um, so with this being raised up you want to use a liquid glue because this way it will get into all the cracks and crevices and be able to adhere down to your card base okay so use your Tombow and of course like I said everything is over at stampinginthevalley.com you can just click on it there's the numbers of all the items and the prices and if you click on it it'll take you right to my online store so right there we're just going to attach that nicely and just kind of press it down. You know because it's got all the raised portion on the back of it it just might need just a minute for you to help it to flatten out just a little bit. So just take your time with your Tombow and let it adhere down like that. Love that. Okay. Now <clears throat> what we're going to do is bring our flowers in. I've already stamped and punched them out with my beautiful, I love that daisy punch. This is, I'm using the suite that is going to retire the 2016-2018 in colors. This is sweet sugar plum, dapper denim. There's some peekaboo peach in the middle here. These flowers will be layered on top. That's why this is not stamped in the middle here. There is a glue dot on that. So when I layer it, I just do it, um, you know, where it's inside of itself okay so that it's every other and you know just off at an angle a little bit like that and it makes you it, it look like you have a bunch of petals and I love that you can use a few color a couple of colors like that actually I'm using three because of the peekaboo peach in the middle now I take my bone folder and I'm going to roll this flower up I already have my dimensional on the back this um, punch gives your card a lot of dimension. So I'm going to put that to the side right there. And here is one in Peekaboo Peach with the Sweet Sugar Plum right there. And I'm just going to roll those up just a little bit, just breaking down those paper fibers and just giving it just a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to lay that there. Now I already cut out my thank you with my oval, stitched oval framelit and I put my dimensionals on the back. I stamped the thank you toward the lower third of the embellishment because of where my placement of my flowers, where I want those to go. So I'm just going to adhere that down here with my dimensionals just like that. I'm going to take my double flower and peel this backing off of the dimensional and then I'm going to attach it out here on the green but I want the pet I want it to come right down to this stitched right here I want it to sit on it let's see can you can see that right there it's sitting right on that embellishment right there and of course leaving enough room for your petals not to go over your card so that it will fit in an envelope so I want that right there and then I'm going to bring my other one in 
and I'm going to attach this one up here. What a nice spring card. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to use the enamel shapes, and this is in Sweet Sugar Plum. I'm going to attach two large ones first up here. And again, these are retiring. That's why I'm trying to show you guys some beautiful projects um, with these wonderful, wonderful colors that we're going to be losing. I, um, I really, really have enjoyed this suite of colors. I think they're very uh, happy and um, spring-like. So here's our card for today. Just a short little video. How much fun is that? Two nice thank you cards. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel and thank you so much to all my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, all of my customers um, that order from me. I, so, I couldn't do this without you and I so enjoy um, doing my YouTube videos with you guys. Someday we're going to get to craft together uh, on Facebook Live. I hope to be doing that um, coming up, but I don't know when. Maybe in the summer we'll do that. So um, thanks again for watching. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on that big blue button. Shop my online store if you'd like to become a demonstrator. There's a click in the link below here, and um, there's also a click for the free card kits for this month. So check that out. Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting.